Hi everyone, I'm Kuben from Flon Thai Six. If this is your first time on my channel, I want to welcome you. If you are a regular viewer, welcome back. So today is actually my birthday. So I want to encourage all my unsubscribed viewers, please hit the subscribe button and to help me to grow my channel. So today I want to talk about my Zalgo Petalum Orchid. Uh, this is an extremely fragrant orchid. Um, it has a, like a very intense, uh, heady fragrance, which can quite possibly you know, um, fill up an entire room. The fragrance is all based, um, so it gets released as the temperature rises. It, they usually bloom at this time of year, usually uh, winter to early spring. The petals and sepals have this beautiful combination of burgundy, purple, uh, violet and green with this um, beautiful purple uh, lip. Uh, Zyra petalums are native to Central and South America. Uh, my plant grows upstairs in my office space where it gets bright in direct light but it also gets direct sunlight this time of year but I am uh, careful to shield my plant from the harsh midday sun. Uh, some people grow their plants under the lights. Um, I would suggest um, keeping your plants about 20 centimeters away from the light. Um, there's like a vast range of different grow lights you can use and some people even even use fluorescent lights. So when Abortion your saga petalum, be careful not to get any abortion on the leaves because it can cause um, markings. I try to keep my plants moist during the growing season um, and during the winter I keep it more on the dry side um, because they are epiphytes and they do have uh, pseudo bulbs. So, so they can take some um, drying out. Uh, my plant is also in a clay pot, which as we've discussed before in previous videos, um, clay pots tend to um, dry out a lot quicker than um, plastic pots due to their porous nature. Um, so I would say I will put my plant about uh, once a week, uh, give or take. Uh, Zagas love humidity. Um, my plant is actually located next to my humidifier where it would get about uh, 60 to 70 percent humidity on a constant uh, basis. I wouldn't miss them because of what we discussed earlier about getting the leaves wet. Um, you can also group plants together and that will increase uh, the humidity in the like, immediate surrounding area. So the, these orchids need slightly cooler and high sun temperatures between uh, 16 to 18 degrees Celsius and a warmer daytime temperatures between um, 21 and 24 degrees Celsius um, to like, get them blooming and growing well. And that, that makes my climate here in Cape Town absolutely perfect for growing these orchids. My plant is in a mixture of orchid bark and sphagnum moss, which is fast draining but also holds on to a bit of moisture, which is ideal because my plant is in a clay pot. So I fertilize my Zyra with a balanced orchid fertilizer. They're not fussy about the ratios of fertilizers, so any universal or balanced orchid fertilizer would be fine. Um, and I fertilize my plant about twice a month. So common pests on his Zyra orchids are mealybugs, aphids and spider mites. Uh, these are all um, sap sucking um, pests so they do over time weaken the health of your plant. I recently did a video of how I use a bleach solution to get mealybugs off my slip orchids. I'll put the link up on the screen for you guys. These pests can also be controlled with a variety of insecticides, um, chemical or organic, um, that you can buy from the hardware store. I often use uh, a grow scare on my plants since it covers a combination of um, pests. 
So there are two main reasons why your orchid might not bloom. Number one being insufficient light. Uh, generally when orchids uh, fail to bloom is because they've been kept in insufficient li uh, lighting conditions. Um, try to move your plant to more um, indirect light. Uh, just be careful to do it gradually and not all at once um, so you can give your plant time to acclimatize. The second reason could be because your um, temperature is too constant. A lot of orchids need a temperature difference in order to trigger flowering. Uh, th this is also the case with some pediums. Um, and so if your temperatures are too constant, you, you might want to try creating a bigger difference between your daytime and nighttime temperatures in order to help your plant and to trigger flowering. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this video inspired you to add a Zyga Petlin to your houseplant collection or helped you to better care for your Zyga orchid. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to leave them in the comment section below. I always look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to see more videos like these.